Okay, so I stumbled across a very interesting video yesterday. Who knows Chris Williamson and who else knows Douglas Murray? You all know them, don't you? Well, they had a fascinating conversation yesterday on Chris Williamson's podcast. Don't worry, there's no negativity towards these guys. This is the Daniel Boland show, after all. Who's Daniel Boland? Where there is never any negativity towards anyone. Never has been, never will be. I love these guys. Emma Raducanu did an advert for HSBC recently, which you may have missed. Uh, no, actually, we didn't miss it, Chris. Here on The Daniel Boland Show, we have to stay very much ahead of the trends. We can't just invite Douglas Murray on two months after the fact and get uh, 570,000 views. Oh, and there's his little sponsor, eh? Neutronic. Well, at least he hasn't got the liquid death. That's when you know you've made it, when you have a can of liquid death. <laughs> when you've got the death water and the ball shavers, the manscaped, you've made it. Look at him, bursting out of his basic black tea. Oh, it makes you sick! HSBC rewrote three classic fairy tales. Their book's called Fairer Tales, and it shows that women don't need men at all. <laughs> with, with... Well, I guess we no longer have to wonder what Douglas Murray's climax call sounds like. <laughs> that really left nothing to the imagination. You'll never hear me making a noise like that. You want to hear what my climax call sounds like, you'll, you'll have to become a channel member. <laughs> With financial attitudes shaped as early as five years old, the new book challenges traditional gender stereotypes. The new book, called Fairer Tales, Princesses Doing It For Themselves, reimagines Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty, and Rapunzel as successful businesswomen. Prince Charming... <laughs> <laughs> successful businesswomen. Prince really? Charming... <laughs> Charming is erased as the main character. No, I've got a good mind to send a strong-worded cease and desist letter to that Chris Williamson for stealing my essence. That's a thing, you know. I think I could sue him. Should I sue him? To be fair, he does do other things other than bitch about celebrities. Maybe you should do other things other than bitch about celebrities. No. Stay in your lane, Danny. Nope. You'll never get anything deep and meaningful or even helpful in any way on the Daniel Boland Show. Five things I started doing that changed my life. Turn your life around today. No, stay exactly where you are watching me. Thanks. Don't need you turning your life around, please. Uh, Emma Raducanu read to them, So in the end, the princesses didn't need a prince to save them. They set up their own businesses, saved their money, and then spent it very wisely. Maybe one day you'll buy a tower or set up your own shoe business. That's a quote. Oh, look at them with their soft voices and silver tongues and microphones. Oh, I get up at 5am every morning and I go for a run along the cliffs at uh, fucking Tynemouth or wherever he's from. Stockton, Darlow, probably doing ice baths. Douglas Murray's looking pretty good himself. I bet he takes it easier. I summer in the Alps. I bathe in the Alpine Lake. Come to my summer home on Lake Como, Daniel. Never! Douglas, you hussy! Said the tennis player. That's the worst... I mean, I read Meghan Markle's book, The Bench. And that's worse. Oh dear, these two, I think, need to work on their gossip bitchcraft. You have to prepare the gags just a little bit without being hacky. Look, I think I could help both of you if we just, you know, spent a few days together. Just the three of us, you know, we don't want any hangers on. We could go away together somewhere. I'm sure, you know, Douglas has got a place. We could spend the weekend at my uncle's lochside cabin in the Highlands. Fishing for freshwater trout. That sounds delightful, Douglas. Any time. Now, I've been studying Douglas Murray's face for the last few days. I've noticed, you know, if you just cover his nose a little bit, right? Am I right? He could be my hu husband, uh, older brother. That's worse. Um, wow. Yeah. Uh oh, piss off, Chris. We could all get up at 5am and do the ice baths and work out for hours every day for 10 years. And feel our ribs. Because we've got 7% body fat. 
Maybe that's what I need to do, I don't know, to get my channel to the next level. Maybe then I'd get my Death Water deal. Um, what an inspiring tale. <sighs> Fairer tales. Um, it's so Princesses sweet. doing it for themselves. Have you seen the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the South Park episode of the, where, um, uh, Cartman wakes up, he has a, dream, a nightmare. You told me about this over everyone... lunch yesterday. Yeah, for... speaking of nightmares, this is my idea of a nightmare when I sometimes catch myself describing scene by scene an episode of South Park for the second time! But of course, no, the conversation flows. Everything's easy for these guys. For the people that haven't seen it, what uh, is Cartman, it? Um, Cartman has, it has a, a nightmare, it turns out. He's, it's, he, he is a diverse black woman. His character is recast, and all of his friends, Kenny and everyone else, are diverse female or transracial characters. And then Cartman wakes up from the night, like, no! <laughs> and his mother comes in, what is it? What is it? Are you having another dream where, once again, all my all my favourite characters in, in the cartoons have been replaced by ethnically diverse <laughs> women? And... and... Look at those two. Laugh it up, go on. <laughs> Seamless conversation. Best pals. <laughs> A successful podcasting career. That should be me. And she goes, it's okay, Cartman. It's okay. Uh, the, the CEO of Disney isn't hiding under your bed. Are you sure? <laughs> Would you check? Would you check? Would you check, Mum? Okay, I checked. She's not there. All right, Chris. The sooner we get you on that fishing trip to Scotland, the better. You are all podcasted out. Nothing's that funny. <laughs> this is the beginning of an episode. A nervous breakdown, if you will. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the same thing with the, the, there was that rather unappealing um, young woman who uh, uh, was meant to be placed, well, is playing Snow White in the new Disney Snow White. Rachel she... Ziegler. Don Quixote? No, no, no. Somebody else. Uh, no, it's not it. And she... It is. is Don Quixote. Is it? Yeah. And Rachel remember. Ziegler. Ziegler. I really think that was the character's name. Don Quixote. Fine. Now look it up. That's why um, she said uh, she, Prince Charming wasn't a prince. He was a stalker. Yeah. And uh, she didn't need a Prince Charming to discover that she could be the woman she could be. I mean... This is like sub Barack Obama circa 2007. Like sub Barack Obama circa 2007. <laughs> That's awful. See, you'll never catch me saying nonsensical stuff like that. Not with all my editing. Now, how about that fishing trip, guys? Like the princess is the person she's been waiting for or something. You think Your sister's keeper. I... I, I... I, why don't they invent new tales? That's what I can never understand with that. Why don't they just invent new tales instead of screwing up every existing tale that's loved? Do you well, know? Like, make your boring movie about a, an inspirational tale of a woman who wants to start a business and then does and has some success. <laughs> I mean, okay, make that into a film. Hmm. Why do you have to go and ransack and rape all of them? Whoa, nobody's doing any of that in Hollywood anymore. All of them pillage all of the the storehouse of stories that people like. Brett Cooper's playing Snow White for Daily Wire. Did you see that announcement? What? What? You haven't seen this. Oh, no. Let me tell you. Jeremy Boring and Ben Shapiro are doing their own live action remake of Snow White. With Brett Cooper as Snow White. <laughs> because she's like West End trained. Right, so she's a very well trained, uh, supposedly a very well trained actor who can sing. Apparently, it's like the triple threat: podcast, act, sing. Right, uh, and they announced it the other week. It's going to be coming out next year. The Daily Wire are going to produce their own, presumably unwoke version of Snow White. Yeah, that's not going to be cringe at all. Oh, okay, all right. So they're all pitching ideas over at uh, the Daily Wire for this new Snow White. Right, okay. Who's this? Who's this? Uh, uh, maybe the evil queen could, in fact, be uh, a communist dictator. Now, now, who's this? This is. Uh, yes. Uh, could we also give her blue hair and have her identifying as non-binary? I think that would help the kids to identify who the bad guys are. That's the weirdest thing about this whole Daily Wire project. They are. Uh, <laughs> they're going to make a load of kids shows, <laughs> and uh, you know. I, uh, I agree, it's probably l less nefarious than the uh, weird leftist uh, kids' projects, but uh, still a bit weird, isn't it? Maybe, you know, if you're very, very political, 
perhaps stop making stuff for kids. Diverse ethnic women. It was the South <laughs> thing again. Uh, anyway, that was just a little bit of conversation between those two. And uh, as I said, I've got nothing against them. They're great friends, and I'm sure we're going to have a great time up in uh, Scotland fishing together. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next one, I guess. Uh, I've been thinking, Ben, that uh, maybe when we get round to doing Sleeping Beauty, instead of having the three fairies looking after Sleeping Beauty in the cottage in the woods, because that's kind of, well gay uh maybe we could have the father the son and the holy ghost looking after her instead no i'm sorry matt that just won't do uh, that goes against everything i believe in everything i stand for it goes against uh your scriptures my scriptures okay so what do you suggest i'm the holiday armadillo ah!